Welcome. I'm Peter James Whitlam from the United Kingdom. I'm the founder of Christian Boys for God, which is actually the world's largest internet church charity within excess of 624 million followers. My purpose today is twofold. Firstly, that this site has been deliberately designed to attract sponsors and donors. Now, sponsorship takes many forms. We are sponsored by some companies who give us discounted prices for the technologies we use or reduced costs of fares when we are involved in missionary work. But we're also sponsored by others others who have got things that could be useful to us. These may, these may vary in all sorts of ways. They come in the form of old Bibles, disused clothing, old technology. They're, they're sponsors to us as well. The second issue, of course, though, is one of donations. And you may ask, why do we need donations? Well, we are a registered charity and we learned early on in our experience of building our organisation that it's almost impossible to tell people about the good news of Jesus Christ when they haven't drunk for two days or haven't eaten for a week. So there are needs that we have to meet to enable us to do what we want to do. Because our overall aim is primarily the aim of all Christians, to follow Christ's commission to make disciples of all the world. Now, I'm sure some of you who are looking at this maybe don't consider yourselves Christians. That's okay. We are not Bible bashing as an organisation. We tell people what we believe and they can take it or they can leave it. However, I'm going to close just by mentioning three points. I'll start with the first point. We're not what I would call an attractive charity. I mean, when, when my television every night is flooded with asking for gifts for saving dogs or polar bears or cancer research, by comparison, our message of spreading the gospel around all the world does not have the same appeal. So we do not receive much in the form of donations. That's the bad news. The good news, though, is that as a charity, we have no administrative costs. If you look at some larger charities, you'll find that their administrative costs can range from 20 to 33% of what they receive. And that, of course, is spent on having buildings, specialist departments. We have none of that. We are totally self-supporting in administrative costs. No wages, no benefits. People who work for us do it for the love of God. And finally, I go back to the point I, I kind of touched on a few moments ago. And that is, although this appeal initially was aimed at Christians. I also believe it's talking to atheists and agnostics because really uh, I feel that what we're talking about is humanity or if I'm specific it's man's inhumanity to man. Now I would like you to just think about the points I've made as situation. You know, people seek charity from us because we're a UK registered charity. Often they ask for large sums. I have to point out to them that one dollar, one dollar, 74 pence in UK sterling will feed a whole family for one day. Now, I bought a cup of coffee yesterday in it cost me one pound seventy five. That's probably about two dollars fifty. So 
let's try and keep this in perspective. Please, if you've enjoyed this message, if you want to talk to me about anything I've said, or about our process, or how we gift, or you want to talk about sponsorship, or don donating, contact me. My email is there, and I promise you I will respond to it. I thank you all for taking the time and giving me the courtesy of listening to this message. May God bless you all. Or, as I usually say to general audiences, may your God go with you. Bye for now. Bye-bye.